Hello everybody, it's uh, Racer here with JD. Hello. And we are in recap mode. So we are recapping the last round we had at Lago Maggiore and the EDTM championship that we are running in. So we are watching the pro lobby and there was already a broadcast of the <coughs> ad, uh, uh, amateur lobby by TMK Racing, so he got to see all the action going on, so if you want to, you can check that out over on his channel, uh, but what we like to try to do is recap our pro lobby, because I stream it on my channel, and a few other people stream their point of views, but we don't get to see all the action, and critiquing, not so much critiquing, but just making observations about what was going on, and that sort of thing, so... And let's just check the audio. Give me a second. Let's just check the audio. Give me a second. All right, and we're working. Audio sometimes definitely it's... sounded good. Came over sometimes, on some... my end. sometimes it goes in and out. It really depends. So anyway, so I've got it queued up at the 17 minute, that uh, 17 seconds mark. As soon as they let us go in, I do as well. Okay, so. Uh, no, all right, we can uh, hit play on one. So we'll start at three, two, one, start. I probably actually turned my sound off, so I'm not getting any uh, <laughs> feedback because I'm a consummate professional. <laughs> yeah, uh, the pre-production so meeting went well. I'm not going to get any, uh, any <laughs> feedback. Yeah, so we had. Uh, oh, we didn't go. Well. We didn't go through the starting lineup, but. Uh, Basically, we finished up. We start up back. Yep. <laughs> bit of a bit of an interesting start. Mm -hmm. I was uh, kind of bouncing a little bit off of Glasgow as he was sort of bouncing off of me. Yep. I kind of had a little bit of a dicey mm -hmm. experience in the Hugh Hattrick one, so I just kind of backed off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like, I, I don't want to cause trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> had a. Way. That's exactly what. That's exactly what I did. I'd had a terrible qualifying. I'll be honest. I didn't really practice a whole lot for this race. I don't yeah. think. Uh, I think I, I might have had just slightly more practice than you had, because you were out of town. But. Uh, yeah, and me and Maggie never get along. Yeah. I so. There all the time. Yeah, up at the Ooh, front Mike. we had uh, uh, Jack was pole position and followed closely by Mikey. But right here off the start, we've got. Uh, Mikey got got a lead, and and Jack is right behind him, giving him uh, all the business. Got yeah, going into big banky boy. Move. Yep, man, making a moving a big banky boy, and it looks like Mikey lets him lets him go through. <laughs> and you know, so the speed that Jack carries, yeah. man, the fact that Mikey's able to kind of challenge him just a little bit mm -hmm. there is a right. testament to that man's skill. Yeah, so we also had a new uh, a newcomer to the race, uh, Jack Lamada. Uh, he was uh, very quick. And, that he was. And so you have a group of four kind of like taking off, kind of giving a little separation between fifth place and uh, the, the mid-pack battle between uh, Damo, Seal, and myself, and you and uh, Gelsker. Uh, so... All have a nice little battle. Damo seems to be running away a little bit. So yeah, back towards the front. Seems to be settling down a little bit. Going for a pretty close racing though. So again, that's a 30 minute 30 minute race. Mm -hmm. So at the 30 minute race, and I think we were all guesstimating about 16 laps, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it could be anywhere from 16 to 15, depending on how fast Jack wanted to go. <laughs> could have been 17. Mm -hmm. So, for some some you people, it would be less. You all know it hurts. So, so Jack comes around here. He's got like a seven-second delta on his previous time. I got a purple, and it was like a three-second delta. <laughs> There's uh, a reason why I'm just putting along in the back at the moment. <laughs> that. God, that kid's quick. Yeah, he's he's quite quick. He's already got uh, probably a two and a half second lead, maybe three, over Mikey. 
and it seems to be it's like a it's like a three races in this one race. You got Jax mm -hmm. racing himself, uh, and then you have the two or three guys, Mikey, Maisto, and uh, Jack. Now seems Jack Lamana seems to be the other uh, uh, fast guy in this little group, and then we have a good battle at the at the rest in the rest of the pack between us. It's uh, we all seem to come back together, and eh, it comes back and forth. It being only a 30-minute race, it, if you make a small mistake, it's really, really hard to, to get back. Because if you lose the draft in this game, you, you, you're you pretty much done, you know, so. Yeah, yeah especially to a faster driver, because, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you can keep up, and but until once you get that uh, three-quarter of a second behind, once you lose that, you're, mm -hmm. you just fall away so quickly. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm struggling with right now at this point. So coming into lap three, I mean, I'm I'm probably about a second behind you, Doug, and just barely trying to catch up. Things are getting a little dicey further up. You got uh, Maisto and Mikey battling pretty hard. Right. Jack Lamada right behind him. Yeah, tire tire wear didn't seem to be too bad uh, in practice. I saw, but I saw a picture of your tires after the race. And... Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. At the end of the race, they were pretty, pretty <laughs> sketch. So, um, he's that's, that's, that's back, back to Jack here at the front. Yeah, no, he's gone. So, he's only battling his concentration levels, I think, um, and I'm sure they're, you know, pretty high. So. <laughs> And Mikey and Lamont, Jack Lamont has gotten past me still. Ooh, and like he's demo going defensive on seal, but mm -hmm. thinks better of it. Tries to break the toe. Now watch what happens in this one. Watch on demo. He he ends up catching just a little bit of the dirt. Mm -hmm. He spins out. Then I do the same thing. I spin out right across your nose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, that I was 100% was... dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really know what happened there. I, I was kind of, uh, I, I didn't know if there was more carnage that happened at the beginning, and then it was just Damo uh, getting a little too much understeer at the exit of the turn, and, and he really yeah. cost himself. And then uh, I used to, he's fighting, uh, he starts fighting uh, a little bit of tire wear or something. He just starts falling down the order. Uh, mm -hmm. for me it was 100% I just got my rear tire right on the dirt hit the mm -hmm. gas and around they went yeah yeah that's a it's a tricky it's a tricky turn we've got a little bit of a uh, off by uh, seal here at the beginning uh, of turn of, of lap four going into turn one uh, and turn one is uh, that that chicane is really is really tricky uh, there's a mm -hmm. uh, brake markers a little uh, it's later than you think, and it's right between uh, the the hundred and the and the fifty. Yeah. You really got to time it right. Mm -hmm. I overshot it a few times. Yep. That brings Jelsker right into in, into his wheelhouse, and so now he's right there in his uh, draft. And so now you're starting to see again. Jack has splintered himself away off the front, and then then you've got Mikey and Jack Lamata fighting with each other and seal here with Jalesgra and then uh, the such a little that group of three there with uh, Maestu still kind of there and then myself is chasing him down uh, and you're t uh, you and uh, Damo kind of fall off the back but that that's a long race we haven't made it to the first pit stop and so uh, and we also we've started with 65 liters of fuel. Um, racing soft tires are the preferred uh, tire to use. You could use mediums if you want to, but uh, pretty much the, the status quo right now is just to use uh, soft tires the whole time because you've got to make a pit yeah. stop. So. And uh, fueling still takes the longest because it's real quick to, to put on tires mm -hmm. in this game. Yeah. So yeah, I think now everybody's breaking into their own little own little rhythm. Uh, still got one or two little battles. 
fourth and fifth, and second and third. So, and this is the yeah, race. Jack Lamada, that... Yeah, Jack Lamada is just stuck to Mikey's bumper. Mm -hmm. right. I, I know that Porsche is quick in, in particularly handling courses. Mm -hmm. The Aston, I know, struggles real hard on those because it's mm -hmm. a it's a real straight line speed monster. Yeah. But oh, and he gets the pass done. Yeah. Like he went a little bit wide there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the uh, the big the big front engine cars they they suffer from a lot of understeer, and the Porsche, the mid engine cars, mm -hmm. they're really good leaving uh, leaving the turn, but uh, they can. Snap around on you, little oversteer with the uh, mm -hmm. with them. And Jack's playing defensive, trying to get Mikey not give Mikey any free draft. And the draft is so critical, like you said earlier. It's, it's just so critical if you can't stay within seven tenths or so of the person uh, in front of you, you're probably going to start falling off a little more and a little more. If you're in equal pace, if you're uh, <sighs> very evenly matched otherwise you're not gonna be able to keep up um, you know, be, be, be at a car car disadvantage you might have you're just gonna start falling off the back so Mikey's giving him you know giving him a good run you see a little bit a little bit of grass touch by Jack Lamata there uh, entering the long long left turn final left turn and here we go into the break zone for turn one, into this first chicane, basically. I'm going to hug that second turn as tight as you can, because you will drift right off the track if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and this next turn is also another tricky turn. You can take a lot of that apex and drift way far out wide. Lots of still pretty good grip out there. Try to maximize that corner speed, apex speed. And the the track limits on this game, on this track are fairly generous, especially coming through this climbing set of S's through here. You can really take a lot of the curbs. We're watching on board with Seal. You can't really you can cheat really that. Run wide. Before you get onto the onto that straight, and mm -hmm. yeah, there's one of the one of the turns there. You pretty much you, your your inside tires are the ones that can't go on the inside of the turn. That's got Seal's mm -hmm. got a Jail's just giving him a real run down in the Banky Boy. He's got the inside, hangs it really nicely. Can he keep it out of the dirt? Yep. It's another one of these. This, this track is pretty wide. It gives you lots of different opportunities, lots of different lines, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of passing opportunities. There's yeah, a lot this of... is really a single line track all the way around. There's, yeah. It's really hard to try and get a different line as mm -hmm. both you and I can speak from experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Spoilers. I feel like we got a couple of... Got, uh, Seal picked up a penalty here. Oh, and so did, uh, how is his name pronounced? Glesgard or Gilles? Yeah. Gelsgra. Gelsgra is what I'm going with. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it could also be called Glasgow Red. <laughs> it's what I've been told. It, uh, we have a dialect uh, uh, pronunciation. <laughs> it is basically... Yeah, He's from Glasgow. I will yeah. happily do that. Mm -hmm. And looking back in the field. Mm -hmm. So we got uh, just a little bit. Yeah. I, I forgot what happened with uh, demo and and or no, what happened with Maestro? Uh, yeah, Maestro. Maestro uh, he he had a couple of. Uh, I think it was coming up into the final sector. He 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 got too much of the wall and Ooh. yeah he. Yeah, he, and then I think it was one other sector. I remember I, he he went off and I just barely missed him. Yeah, and you, yeah, giving me a good good run here. Yeah, at this point I can definitely smell what you're having for dinner. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes. The previous night. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I think this is where you got to learn where I was strong and where I was weak, and they would turn it around on you on the after the pit stops, where mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know you were. I was felt like I was a little quicker in certain sectors than you were. Yeah, and and the Beamer and the and the Merc are real, real close to each other because they're both, yeah. you know, big heavy front engine rear wheel drive cars. Mm -hmm. yep. Handle pretty well. Do yep. do decently on fuel. Do decently yep. on tires. Yeah, very stable, very stable, uh, somewhat is, uh, forgiving once you learn how to drive them. Ooh, Mikey jumps into the pits. As does Jack. But Jack LaMotta stays out. Yeah, Jack LaMotta stayed out. He must have been eating some decent fuel mines. He's, he's blinking red light, so he's... How much fuel he actually had. The, the Porsche is good on fuel. It's a good yes, car on fuel, and it's... uh. Not too bad on its tires. It might not be mm -hmm. the fastest car around, but it's it gives you enough of positives and not too bad of negatives. So, so it's a very well balanced car. Most people like it when they first start this game. Yeah, well, that was uh, my first. Uh, that was my first FIA car. Yep, yeah, that's what I chose too. I used it. Uh, I, I did more of the Group Fours and the FIAs. I didn't really much use the uh, the 911. So, so we got. Jack with a pretty commanding lead right now over Mikey. Mm -hmm. yeah. I managed to just leave Froggy in the pits. Yeah, I I think I overfilled. Uh, actually, we'll find out. I did overfill. Uh, so I miscalculated <laughs> when I was going in. I think I, which kind of worked out. It didn't, didn't, because I, I, I was really pressing to keep up with you. And it was really... It's like, oh, uh, I, I, I had a, he was behind me. Now he's in front of me. So I was like, oops. So. Oh. Uh, Fun fact is, I actually overfueled slightly too because mm -hmm. I did the math wrong in my head and was like, wait, I'm on. It's the sixth lap or is it seventh lap? Is mm -hmm. it ten or nine? I blame California public schools for my poor arithmetic skills. <laughs> We're forty seventh in the nation for a reason. <laughs> uh, so. Um... So we still have a uh, nice battle here for fourth. And Jack Lamada finally going into the pits. One liter of fuel left. Yep. <laughs> really cutting it close. Mm -hmm. This is finally giving the lead back to the other Jack. Yeah. <laughs> the OG Jack in this lead. Mm -hmm. And so we still have... Uh, uh, Another good matchup here is the Aston, the V12 Aston is uh, it's a good match for the BMW and the Merc. Mm -hmm. uh, they all these big front engine cars. Uh, it seemed to be very well balanced. I mean, we've got uh, Damo and Maisto in the mid engine cars, and yeah. Unfortunately, he might still, he's really he's really fighting that car right now. I don't know. I don't think this car this track was very friendly to his McLaren at all. Uh, that McLaren is a it's a tricky car to drive to. Mm. They it definitely wants to oversteer on you quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, typically this track it it does. There's a few cars that really dominate here, and we discussed it at, at the, the the GR3, the Group 3 Supra, is mm -hmm. typically the go-to car when you come here. Uh, I think the Porsche, I've used a Porsche here before uh, to decent success in daily races, and I think the R8 is another car that, that does well here. So. Especially if you know how to drive it, it's mm -hmm. quick. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not quick in my hands. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we've got Seal looking on the inside of Lesgard. Gets the pass done. Very nice on the Banky boy. Yep, still got a nice little battle. Mikey's still within striking distance of Jack LaMotta if Jack can make a, a small error and Mikey can capitalize on it. Uh, as, long as, his, as long as he's got tires, his tires are fairly fresh. Probably only a couple laps, laps into them. So, we've got a long way to go though. This is the long stretch of the track. Um, 
of the race, I should say, your long stint. Mm-hmm. Because on this one, now you're looking at going another, what, nine laps, I think, is what we run on these tires, so it's longer than the previous stint. Yeah. And, and if you're not prepared for that tire wear. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and I think uh, Jack Jack probably made the smart choice to try to stretch out those first tires so that he could um, so that he could try to uh, give him some more tire life at the end of the race. So. Mm -hmm. Hey, Josh, it's Josh or other Josh from the pub. How you doing? <laughs> well, he's on his weird schedule. I hope you're doing okay, Josh. Ooh, Glesker challenging into the uh, into yeah. the S's. Uh, pretty, uh, that, that is a nice place to pass if you can get it done. Mm -hmm. But it's always it stresses me out because I'm like <laughs> I know there's only one line through here. Right. <laughs> so if you don't get the job done, you're both going to go through mm -hmm. there slow, or you'll hit each other. Yeah. Depends on if you're like uh, current racers or if you're like the old days where you were a little bit civil with each other. Mm -hmm. Depends. Certainly not referencing uh, Kevin Harvick or uh, <laughs> or uh, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, yeah. Uh -huh. God, that was satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> it just tickled me something fierce. <laughs> so, and then we also have our battle here between you and I. Yeah, this is yeah. You were. I was trying so hard to break the toe, and I think at this point you were at like 0. 0.3 seconds, maybe 0. 0.4 seconds behind me. Yeah, so I. Yeah, it was it was it was it was so fun chasing you, but uh, at a same at the same time it was so frustrating to not be able to find a place to pass, and you would make a tiny <laughs> little error, and I could get myself like right in your quarter panel, but I couldn't. You know, it, it's a it's fine line between just giving too much gas and spinning it up, or, mm. or you know, it, it, just not having, not being in position to to. to 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 get it done like here's one where you ran right wide there, right there, right there. yeah yeah and ended up a... getting a little bit wide there and i knew you were coming i was like ah uh, oh, crap yeah <laughs> so i felt fairly strong through this sect and and uh your line was way different this, than mine this uh, one i did wide because i thought you were gonna swing in there and i was like mm -hmm. there's no way i could defend this <laughs> you just couldn't quite get close enough but then you were mm -hmm. right on my bumper yeah. Yeah, I try to try to try to fake fake a move to try to get you to play defensive, and then at some point it just uh, yeah, it wasn't going to be worth it trying to make a bad a bad pass. And uh, mm -hmm. I thought just put pressure on you, put more pressure on you. And I know that uh, you know just to see how you how you would react, but I'm also putting pressure on myself because you know the the margin for error in this game is so small because you know you can you can you can get sucked into the draft too much and miss your break marker and mm -hmm. and be completely out of out of place and or just get gt physics yeah because you can hit a bump wrong if you take a corner a little bit too narrow yeah. or mm -hmm. even if we just bump each other man we could just both go yeah. off it's mm -hmm. very unforgiving Pretty much the only two battles going on here is our battle and yeah, Seal a nice, and Blessed. Yep. And Seal's gotten past. Yes. Yeah, fun fact, uh, my livery there is actually one of my oldest ones. I've just uh, modified it. Yeah, my, my livery was provided to me by uh, our friend Power Maxi. He provided me a wonderfully uh, replica of Marco Whitman's DTM livery. Very nice. Yeah, the Scheffler uh, M6. And there's another slight mistake by you, and I'm like, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there, and I think that's just more, more, more this is where I make the pretty dramatic mistake and go off track and lose lose touch and that's where my 
attempt at getting to you is pretty much over. And this is where it's... I breathed in the first time in about five laps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I was, I wasn't talking a whole lot <laughs> during that whole thing during my straight. Gonna, gonna was going with a huge uh, move into bank, banky boy behind Seal, but Seal's got a nice buffer there, so it was quite a, quite a uh, attempt. But uh, again, we've. Uh, it's got a couple of good little battles, um, so. And Mikey is, he can see Jack. I yeah. guess Jack Romano. That's a, that's gonna confuse me. We, we yeah. can just assume Jack. Jack is already in lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mikey can yeah. see Jack Romano. Yeah. He's got. Yeah, it's probably about a two-second gap, but it's it's still close. Yeah. We're looking at Jack's times. He's in the, consistently in a, in a high 54, so 54, 7, 54, 7, 8, 54, 8, 8, 53, 8. So you got it in the 53s. I am, I am consistently in the 56s. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Jack, Jack Amata, he's in the 55s, 56s. So On know. my screen, it's saying I got a 55. That is a bald faced lie. I did not get a 55. I know that for a fact. Because I would have been actually a lot happier. Yeah. Yeah, this game does do that. It does screw up your lap times, uh, and, and you know you have to look at the live timing. Uh, when it gets yeah. into this replay timing, it can really mess things up. Yeah, because I know oh, that. Hopefully, I... they'll fix that in GT7. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I think it's accurate on mine, maybe because I'm watching. I did get to a low 50, 56 one. It was about as good as I got. It's showing me the fifty five six, and I don't think I ever got the fifty five. So so if there's something wrong there. Buster Zastin is putting a real strong bit of pressure yeah. on the seal there. Mm -hmm. so, Looks like he's going to try and take him into the bank. If he so, can cash that check. Yeah, so I've started to lose touch with you. Um, you're about as far away from me as I am from Damo. Damo had... Uh, I had a pretty nice lead over Damo at one point. It was like over six seconds. And with our battling, I think we slowed each other down a little bit. He slowly made his way back to me. And with my small error that was compounded into a larger error with losing your losing the, your draft uh, and my struggling tires, because my tires are starting to really show a lot of wear. Mm. And my brake bias was only one to the rear. So I've got a, still got a little bit more... Uh, you know, I yeah, can go you look further at, back. You look at my tire wear compared to yours through that battling. I've got a little bit better front. Yeah. And I think that was partly because I was running uh, two to the back. Yeah. So, um, Damo's tires look about even all the way around. So, and he's he's making big time inroads into what lead I thought I had. Let's see, we're on mm -hmm. lap 14. So, we've got about two laps left, I believe. And Maisto, he's still kind of he's 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 making his way back. He's gotten himself into a rhythm. It looks like as as far as his, these lap times. Yeah, he's closed the gap. So we've fairly well spread out, and I think at this point I've got a little bit more fuel than you have, but my tires are pretty much shot. I mean, they're they're, they're at that point in their where in their life where they. <laughs> you, you can't push them anymore. You're mm -hmm. not going to get any more speed out of them, especially Actually, if the person... Something I've noticed is that, so Gleskert has lost quite a bit of time to, to seal. I actually think he was worried about his fuel at this point. Because mm. you see his fuel is pretty low. It's down below a yeah. quarter. Yeah. Mine's at a third. I, I knew I was fine to the end of the race. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if he if he ran out of fuel at the end or not. I, mean, mm. I know he I know he beat me. Sorry, spoilers again. But <laughs> I real I don't know exactly what happened. Yeah. Yeah, Jack Jack has got almost the entire front straight of a lead on on Mikey, so he's he's really just stepped stepped away, mm -hmm. and Jack has really stepped away. Well, he's doing 
two to three lap, uh, three seconds a lap faster than everyone else in the field. Yeah. yeah and as we see, uh, more I've made a few more mistakes that I think Damo is really start to get the he's getting his wiggle on because he can see that I'm 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 right there and I just made a big mistake jumping surprised I didn't get a penalty there I jumped basically in, inside the apex because I couldn't turn I th think what didn't want to turn but then it turned too much and uh, car it still it felt good but it just didn't feel like it had any speed and I was revving it out I was revving it out a lot more than I would normally because I knew I had fuel to spare and it was just mm -hmm. not helping me at all I wasn't going any faster <laughs> I'm curious because I know in the uh, and this is when we did your mad hour in the other Beamer, yeah. that one actually favored just slightly earlier shifting. Is that the same for the M6? The M6, yeah, uh, it, it you can shift it about halfway up the uh, the red line, the red line bar, mm -hmm. and as we just saw uh, at lap 15 was where we had one small. Uh, where I, one small incident where I was a little defensive. I played a defensive line going into one turn, and uh, there was it was it was a what's being deemed a legal block, um, but uh, try to keep a demo at bay, and it worked. <laughs> it worked. Uh, I give uh, kudos to him that uh, he he saw uh, that it was not there was nothing really. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, you know, un no other intent, just to try to slow him down. I wasn't trying to make contact with him, but uh, it's all been it's all been settled. It's, it's fair, fair racing, um, and I think he really has a charge <laughs> coming into the last turn. <laughs> and so we've got uh, you've already crossed the line, I believe, and then I'm crossing the line. So we still have Jack at the front. Jack still yet the still yet to cross Wesker the line. Did not, Wesker did not run out of fuel. Okay, yeah. so I, I don't know exactly what happened. He seemed a lot <laughs> slower when he crossed the line, but maybe he was just already at speed mm. uh, crossing the line ahead of me. Yeah. So Jack's still got his lead. Jack Lamada is Jack is on fumes. Yeah. Yeah, Mikey. Mikey's on fumes. He's on. Le he's on more fumes than Jack Lamana. Seal looks okay, but Mikey is really painting in the fuel department. Well, you got to power all twelve of them cylinders. They are mm. thirsty. Yeah. That's whether whether Jack can fuel save a little bit more, but Mikey's got to fuel save even more. <laughs> At this point, Jack does not care. He crosses the line, and he is done with, I'm guessing, probably mm -hmm. maybe a drop of fuel in the tank, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. And round up to the final corner. Yeah. Jack Lamar's got, you know, he's just cruising on home, makes it nice and clean through there. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Mikey, they cross the line. Yeah, it's, yeah he's like... At zero fuel when he crosses the line, Neil has, <laughs> Neil has just a bit. His tires are really gone. His tires look as bad mm -hmm. as mine did. Yeah, I think Seal actually had the worst tires of everybody. <laughs> looking back at yeah, it, which is, which is interesting. He's usually really good about you know fuel saving and tire mm -hmm. saving because I remember yeah. in races in the past, man, he he sometimes leaves me in the dust and then it sees his car afterwards and it's like in better shape than mine. Mm hmm. Yep. So, uh, thanks, JD, for uh, this an, an interesting race. Uh, it's a little bit of action in there. So, uh, our next round is on the 30th of October. So, we have a few weeks to go. We also have the Hugh Hattrick TCR series um, qualifying coming up on the 16th, and I believe that race is on the 19th. I uh, believe you are correct. It is, or no, the qualifying is the sixteenth. Uh, that one is. No, hold on. That was on. That was on Saturday. Yeah, so I, I, thought it was I think that's right. The Saturday and then the. Uh, it, oh, I just can't count. 
Again, there, there's that California arithmetic. Yeah, it is the 16th. And then the next race is the 23rd. Mm-hmm. And then the next EDTM is going to be on the 30th. Yep. Yeah. So, and I will be miss. I will miss the the EDTM uh, for our normally scheduled viewers that enjoy watching that. I am unfortunately going to be out of town. So um, happy to do a recap when you get back. Yeah, we can do another recap. Um, I will definitely be watching the stream. I will not be uh, off the grid. I just will not be around my sim rig. Um, sorry, Fanatec, no plug for you. Sorry, GT Omega, no <laughs> plug for you. So, sorry, um, Logitech, I'm not going to plug you. <laughs> so, but I, I, I am very much looking forward to it. I believe which track is that? Um, uh, Interlagos. Easy, sure. It's the For, Brazilian oh. Beauty. It's the Brazilian oh, you're Beauty. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is Interlagos. Interlagos. Another track that I am remarkably mediocre at. <laughs> Shout out to a dead channel. Uh, it is. It is. <laughs> it is a. I don't not think it's going to be another. It's not going to be a friendly track to the big front engine cars. Uh, I mm-hmm. want to say the mid engine cars oh. all will have an advantage. Um, Porsche boys and Jack will have an Porsche, advantage. Porsche and Jack, yep. Um, if we can get Mr. Holman to make an appearance, he is in the Ferrari. Uh, I know he has had a few, excuse me, he's had a few uh, things pop up this time of year. It's kind of difficult for some people. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to... I, I don't I don't really know so I can't really say anything. But all I know is we miss his presence uh, and his competitiveness and his alien speed to give Jack a run for uh, both Vanquish esports. So they would much you know enjoy racing each other, especially since they're in different regions. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah. But yes, HTT uh, HHTCR will be uh, our next stream and our. Uh, ever expanding series we're running, um, and that's about all I have. Um, uh, please hit that like button, and we will get with everyone the next uh, on our next stream. Uh, appreciate you again, J- JD, for showing up. And of course, happy to do it. it. Yep. So we will say good night to everyone and enjoy the replay for all of our uh, EDTM competitors. Uh, hope uh, we uh, gave you enough airplay, <laughs> uh, airtime, and hopefully didn't highlight too many of your mistakes. <laughs> but for me, all right. I own up to it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, but very, very clean racing all the way, all all across the board. Though. Every everything looked really, really good. Um, so, yep. Again, thanks everyone, and you have a great evening.